back to yet another educational episode here by New York Stilo, where today we're going to be discussing a how to do it yourself method so you can unite two Ecotech Radions and easily hang them and install them. Now, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed at the makers of these fixtures. You know, it, it seems to me that Ecotech sort of rushed the release of these fixtures without giving us a proper means and way to go ahead and install this fixture. Yes, they do offer you the ability to purchase the hanging kit, but the hanging kit only works with one unit. And so if you want to go ahead and you want to install two of these into a larger tank, now you're going to have to buy two hanging kits at 45 bucks a pop when instead, you know, Ecotech could have released a way to go ahead and unite two fixtures so that you can only use one hanging kit. Now, Ecotech is in fact working on a rail system that is going to allow you to do this. The problem is that it's not available today as we speak. And so it leaves us with no other choice but to come up with a do-it-yourself way to go ahead and unite two fixtures and do it. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss here in this video today. Now, some of the equipment that you're going to need, an absolute must, you're gonna need a hacksaw. The hacksaw is basically going to allow you to cut the rail system to specifications. This is a must. You're also gonna need the toggle bolts and most importantly, with the toggle bolts, you're gonna need the butterflies. And this is important for those of you who wanna hang the fixture from a drywall ceiling and are having a difficult time trying to find the beams behind. You can, in fact, hang this fixture just with a drywall if you use the butterflies. We're gonna get into that a little later in the video. Now, you're also gonna need a Sharpie pen, you know, something that can mark to specification where exactly you need to make the cut. And next to that, you're also gonna see an Allen key. Now the Allen key is needed for those of you who want to use the eyelet screws that come within the fixture itself. Now behind that, you're gonna see a nice drill bit kit. Now I've owned this for several years now, but if you don't have this and you need to obtain it, you can actually get this for about $14.99 from Home Depot, if not for less. It's not that expensive. I also went ahead and obtained a black matte finish spray can. Now, initially I wanted to paint the rails a matte black finish, but after running the fixture for about a week, and taking a look at the aluminum bars that I obtained, which are rather shiny, I honestly have to tell you guys that I really do like that silver and black finish. Now, next to the spray paint can, uh, you, you're gonna need the Radeon hanging kit, and that's basically the box. I just went ahead and put it there so I can feature it. Next to that, you're gonna see um, a measuring tape. You're gonna need that to make the cuts precisely in front of the measuring tape you're going to see a wire cutter. You're gonna need that so that you can cut the wires after the installation and hanging from the ceiling. You're also gonna need a drill in itself so that you can use the bits to make the hole in the ceiling as well as to make the holes on the rails themselves. Last but not least, the contents inside of that hanging kit box are located here on the left and as well as the instructions. Now here's what we're gonna do here quickly. We're gonna get rid of all this equipment now that we've covered that. And we're just gonna keep the light fixture and the hanging kit here on the table. So I can show you the contents inside of the hanging kit and give you guys a close up of what this rail system looks like and talk a little bit about how I was able to achieve this. So we will be right back. Okay, so now that we're quickly back here, we're looking at the contents inside of the hanging kit and we're going to be touching up on the most important part of this project which is the aluminum bars that I decided to use here. Now, I was a little disappointed at the hanging kit altogether. I mean, I was disappointed over the fact that it did not bring the toggle bolts that I needed to be able to drill and get inside of the drywall. I had to buy that separately, which is the toggle bolt that you're looking on the left-hand side here. Now, it's important that you get it with the butterfly. This is so important. This butterfly, as you screw in the screw, the butterfly is actually going to hug the wall tighter and tighter to the point that there is no way that this thing is going to fall off the ceiling. Now, 
if you're able to find the beams inside of your ceiling, that's even better. You can use uh, any kind of wood screw and be able to keep that together. But in my case, I could not find the beams. And so I went ahead and used the butterflies. Now, the bars here, the aluminum bars, you know, I wanted to basically replicate what Bulk Reef Supply did in their video. If you haven't checked out their video on the installation of their Ecotech Radeon light fixture, I'm going to put a link down to the description box below. And in their video, they used a square aluminum bar in the back and in the front. Now, the problem with this was that when I went to Home Depot, I could not find that square aluminum bar. And that's exactly what I wanted to obtain. I did not feel comfortable adding a flat bar. The only bars that I could find at Home Depot were this 45 degree angle bar or a regular flat bar. When I picked up the flat bar, guys, I can honestly tell you that it looked like it was going to bend, like it was going to sag. And despite the fact that it's aluminum and it's sturdy and it's strong, I think in time, it'll probably end up sagging and the fixture's gonna end up looking like a, like a, like a slight V shape instead of a straight light fixture. So I've decided to go with these 45 degree angle bars here. I believe that the angle itself is not only uh, strong enough to keep the fixture straight, I think it looks rather nice. I really do. Um, we're gonna take a quick close up here of these uh, bars quickly. So you can see basically what they look like. I've gone ahead and used the um, eyelet screws instead of the screws that come inside of the hanging kit. And this is because those screws are actually a little longer than the ones inside of the hanging kit. And so it easily allowed me to add these bars, which are basically one eighth of an inch thick. So and this is how I decided to go ahead and do it. Making these bars was a breeze. I mean, I spent 10 minutes. I went ahead, I measured it. And once I got the dimensions the way I wanted them to be and basically just uh, you know saw it away until I got the the pieces that I needed here and so we're gonna take another cl quick close-up look here at what it looks like really simple to do really really easy to do now what we're gonna do here is we're going to go ahead and edit the video here once more and we're going to go ahead and take you into the finished product of the installation and we're going to touch up a little bit more when it comes to hanging it from the ceiling. So we will be right back. Okay, so now that we're quickly back here, I'm happy to be able to show you the end result as well as give you a quick close up of some of these corals here. Now we're going to start with the ceiling up here. We're going to move the camera up here. Now I can honestly tell you that it took approximately 30 minutes to get this installed. It was a two man job uh, because you wanna try to align uh, the fixture while one person is holding one side of it, the other person is actually creating the hole on the top. Now here's a quick tip for you guys. If you're going to go ahead and try to align this fixture, I encourage you to take the power cord and place it completely on top of the fixture. If you have the power cord hanging from the back of the fixture, it's gonna create some weight and it's gonna throw it a little bit off. So you wanna make sure you keep that power cord on top of the fixture. Now, when it comes to making the hole on the ceiling, it was very simple to do. All I did was take a drill bit that was big enough to allow me to insert the butterfly and the bolt in there. So once you are able to insert that into the ceiling and it snaps open, there is no way, guys, that this fixture is going to fall off. Considering the lightweight of the fixture altogether, each one of these units is about 3.2 pounds. So we're talking two units is six pounds and then you've got the aluminum bars which are very lightweight and I'm sure it weighs less than a pound. So we're talking about a fixture that overall weighs about seven pounds. There is no way this fixture is going to fall off and you can in fact install this into a sheetrock ceiling 
easily. It's really easy to do, guys. If you have any questions or concerns or comments about this installation, you can hit me up down below. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear what you guys uh, have to say about this. But I can honestly tell you that I'm really pleased here. Now, we're going to take a closer look at the bars here on the top. And this is another aspect that I'm really happy about here. Now the bars look really, really thin and almost unnoticeable. And I really do like that silver and black finish. So I'm definitely probably going to keep it that way and not use the spray can. But I do encourage you that if you're going to do this here, I encourage you once again to check out that video on Bulk Reef Supply and use the square bar because the square bar is going to allow you to insert the cord into the square bar and be able to hide it now i've got to try to figure out a way for me to hide these cords but even if i have one cord hanging from each side it really doesn't look that bad but the best of everything here is the end result of these led light fixtures i mean I can honestly tell you guys that I'm really, really pleased with what I've seen. I've been running the fixture now, like I said, for about 10 days. Witness significant growth. Polyp extension is just ridiculous. And even some of the corals, the coloration is still too early to say, but I am witnessing that the corals are responding quite well to this LED light fixture. And so we're gonna take a quick close-up tour. Now keep in mind that some of these corals are just opening up because it is early in the morning. And also keep in mind that a lot of the corals that were on the sand bed were moved to the 30 gallon nano system. I did this in an attempt so that I can move the gold torch coral to the right side of the tank and try to get my clowns to respond to the rose anemone. So let's take that close look, uh, close up look here. I gotta tell you, man, some of these corals look absolutely amazing under this LED light fixture. There's a hammer. I really like this section of the tank. It's a complete section and it's got nothing but uh, SPS corals here on the top and I'm really I love this little spot on the tank I'm trying to replicate the same amount of corals over on the right side of the tank But this LED light fixture is just downright awesome. It really is highly highly recommended Despite the fact that it's got it's good and it's got it's bad and this is going to be covered in a detailed video review coming up rather soon guys Probably within another week that I play around with the fixture, I will give it a detailed review with both the good and the bad. New York Stilo will always give it to you like it is, guys. So stick around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, highly encourage you to do so. You can get an email notification when my next video comes out. And I do encourage you to please support my channel. Give it a thumbs up, guys. This is, you know, something that... Um, if I see a lot of thumbs up, I'm just gonna be even more encouraged to release these videos. But once again, I'm really, really pleased with the end result of this LED light fixture. Highly encourage you guys to get it if you can. Um, contact Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, let them know that you're interested in this fixture. And I'm sure they'll lead you in the right direction. And with that said, this is New York Steel signing out with yet another video guys also i wanted to quickly mention here that i'm going to be doing a video on how to program this um led light fixture it's just going to be a quick basic video because I, I even myself i felt like i had to contact ecotech marine because some of these it just wasn't responding the way i wanted it to you know so i'm going to be doing a video on that as well and the detailed review also we're going to be covering the video on the how to install a subperfugium down below we're going to be covering that lots of videos to come guys stick around with that said this is new york stilo signing out once again peace